Well, good morning. This morning, our scripture is found in Titus uh, chapter 3, verse 7, and it goes like this. That being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. You know, many years ago, my uh, uh, group that I worked with, the training corps, was told to fly out to Las Vegas uh, for an extended stay, and we'd be out there for quite some time. So I got uh, got all packed up, got on the plane, and I was sitting there, and I thought, man, we're not taking off very fast. And I looked down at my watch. I didn't got one on. <laughs> I left that silly thing at home, and it was too late now. So I went ahead and flew on out to... Las Vegas, and I checked into the hotel room, and I thought, man, i got to have a watch because we got to be on schedule all the time. So I, I went out looking for watches. Now, hey, these folks in Las Vegas, they got expensive watches. They got them Rolexes and all kinds of high dollar, you know. You, you can spend <laughs> hundreds of thousands of dollars on a Rolex if you get enough diamonds in it. But anyhow, I was sort of disappointed and I was looking for some place where I could buy me just a cheap little old Timex and just so it'll tell me time. Well, sure enough, here's an old boy, <laughs> a street vendor. And uh, so I, I walked over and he had watches. I mean, they was up on his arm and, uh, you know, just watches everywhere and uh I wanted to buy just a cheap watch, so I was looking, and all he had was Rolexes. They were gold and silver, and well, okay. How much is one of these big watches that you got there? He said $10. I pulled him out a $10 bill, put it on. And it was the correct time. I checked it right away. And so I headed back to the hotel room. And as I was walking in the door, I scraped my arm against the door jam. And guess what? The watch fell apart, dropped on the floor into a jillion pieces. And something that I found out on that Rolex that I bought, it wasn't a Rolex. <laughs> <laughs> no, it had a battery in it. Rolexes don't got batteries in them. And you know, I tell you all of this because so many profession Christians, on the outside, they shiny. Yeah, boy, they can talk the talk and walk the walk. But on the inside... They're not right with God. They have never confessed their sins. No, it's just, they're just masquerading around. And uh, 1 Samuel uh, chapter uh, 16, verse 7 says, For the Lord seeth not as man seeth, for man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. So, what we see is not necessarily what we get. Uh, you know, the Lord looks inside. He knows, he knows you. Yes, he does. The Bible tells us he knows us by name. So he knows you, but he looks on the heart. Now, not the one that pumps the blood. No, the soul, the soul. And, uh, you know, I find over in Matthew 7, 21, 33, that not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not pro prophesied in thy name, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name did done many wondrous works. And then will I profess unto them, 
I never knew you. Depart from me, ye works of iniquity. The three words that I never want to hear, God, tell me. Depart from me. Now, folks, I don't know who, who is a child of God and who's not. According to scripture, we can't really tell because there's a lot of actors out there and uh, that's doing a great job portraying. But I don't know why the Lord laid this on my heart, but I, I thought I better do it because he laid it on my heart yesterday afternoon. If you have not committed yourself to the Lord, if you have not uh, surrendered your life to him, my suggestion today is you best get on your knees and ask God to cleanse you, to save your soul. Ask him to come in and clean you. Yes, sir. And he will. He will, if we sincerely mean it, he will. Well, I hope this helps somebody today. May God richly bless you. I love you, but better yet, Jesus loves you. He died on the cross for you and I, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.